Hi, I'm Dr. Dave. Spinoza rubella ataxia. Ska is a progressive, degenerative, genetic disease with multiple types, each of which could be considered a disease in its own right. Spinoza rubella ataxia. Ska is one of a group of genetic disorders characterized by slowly progressive in coordination of gait and often associated with poor coordination of hands, speech, and eye movements. Frequently, atrophy of the cerebellum occurs, and different ataxias are known to affect different regions within the cerebellum. As with other forms of ataxia, scar results in unsteady and clumsy motion of the body due to a failure of the fine coordination of muscle movements, along with other symptoms. The symptoms of an ataxia vary with the specific type and with the individual patient. Generally, a person with ataxia retains full mental capacity but may progressively lose physical control. There is no known cure for Spinoza rubella ataxia, which is a progressive disease. It gets worse with time, although not all types cause equally severe disability. Treatments are generally limited to softening symptoms, not the disease itself. The condition can be irreversible. A person with this disease will usually end up needing to use a wheelchair, and eventually they may need assistance to perform daily tasks. The treatment of incoordination or ataxia then mostly involves the use of adaptive devices to allow the ataxic individual to maintain as much independence as possible. Such devices may include a cane, crutches, walker, or wheelchair for those with impaired gait. Devices to assist with writing, feeding, and self-care if hand and arm coordination are impaired, and communication devices for those with impaired speech. Many patients with hereditary or idiopathic forms of ataxia have other symptoms in addition to ataxia. Medications or other therapies might be appropriate for some of these symptoms, which could include tremor, stiffness, depression spasticity, and sleep disorders, among others. Both onset of initial symptoms and duration of disease can be subject to variation. If the disease is caused by the polyglutein tree nucleotide repeat CAG expansion, a longer expansion may lead to an earlier onset and a more radical progression of clinical symptoms. Thanks for listening. Goodbye.